there is a bigger probability that something could happen in the near or not so near future regarding chronic metabolic illnesses. So we get one number from this test, and this number is in your case, biological aid. I will now share your result. Your result is... Oh, that's terrible. Today, we're joined by Sebastian Orlich, the CEO of Quality of Life, a health consulting company that integrates science into fiction, nutrition, and supplementation. Sebastian's 10 plus years of experience spans engineering, chemistry, biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, nutrition, and fitness. He's also a specialist at Glycanage, where he's dedicated to optimizing well-being and longevity. I was in Dublin at the Longevity Conference recently. We pricked slash stamped my finger and I had some drops of blood come out and then they went away to the labs and they've been testing my blood. Today we know that lack of quality and lack of duration of sleep are both highly pro-inflammative uh, actions. First thing that happened with lack of sleep is release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and other molecules in our gut. So we are not sleeping, we are not recovering enough. What about the nutrition side of things? Because some people eat vegan saying that it helps improve longevity. We hear about this carnivore diet, people eating just lots of steak and meat. And then we have people that think eating only vegetables is the only thing to do and total opposite eating only meat, dairy and eggs is the only thing to do. Obviously both of them are wrong. I was reading some research recently that just shows how much worse obesity has become in the last 20 and 30 years and I was reading that there's so much food in America that there is enough food for us all to have a 4,000 calorific diet a day. So that's why they like to push, eat more, get bigger sizes. But why is everything so backwards? I just, I, I really don't understand the world sometimes. This is modern food environment. With capitalism, with everything that our world evolves, we don't have time now. And then this is convenient. And what is most important, it's supernaturally tasty. We don't have like tools to try to stop on one cookie to stop them because this is designed to be eaten more. Genetics is not irrelevant here, but it's lifestyle is really what pulls the trigger. Genetics maybe is the bullet in pistol, but lifestyle will always pull the trigger.